Linda from Fomagerie Zengari. I'm here today to teach you how to do some easy holiday appetizers using phyllo dough. So phyllo dough can be a little intimidating, but I want to show you guys how easy it can be. So we're going to do three different kinds of holiday appetizers that use our, our fromage. So we're going to use our creamy Swiss fromage for this, as well as our double cream brie style. So we're going to start with um, some phyllo triangles that are stuffed with mushrooms, uh, seasoned mushrooms and um, our creamy Swiss cheese. But then we're going to move on to do some little purses, stuffed purses, and we're going to stuff those purses with our double cream brie and some cranberry sorrel jelly. And then we're going to move on to do some cigars. And we're going to stuff those with asparagus, the creamy Swiss cheese, and some of the leftover mushroom mixture. So let's start by getting the mushroom mixture going. We have our oven preheated to 350 degrees. And we're just going to heat up our pan to medium-high heat. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to keep everything from sticking. So the ingredients we're going to use here is a little bit of olive oil. We're going to use some mushrooms, and I've cut up some mushrooms here. I have a mixture of cremini brown mushrooms and white button mushrooms that are just sliced. I have about two large cloves of garlic here. I have a little bit of chopped fresh rosemary, salt, and some pepper. And then I have a little bit of beer. I'm going to use that to deglaze the pan. You know, just wait for things to warm up, and then I'm going to add in my mushrooms. <clears throat> so this mushroom recipe is a little twist on a recipe that we did recently with Amy Longard. So you can find the link to that recipe down in the show notes, so make sure you check that out. <clears throat> She's the one who taught me that using beer to deglaze the mushrooms really enhanced the flavor of the mushrooms. So I'm just adding a little bit of rosemary to her mixture. A little salt. So these mushrooms are looking great. I'm just going to add in a bit of garlic now. We don't want to burn the garlic, so we're adding it when the mushrooms are almost nearly cooked. We've got a nice bit of tread here. We're going to pour in a little bit of that beer. Infuse the mushrooms with that beer flavor. So tell me what your favorite easy uh, holiday appetizers are down in the comments below. Everybody has their staples, their traditions, so I'm always trying to find new ways to make those traditional meals or appetizers just a little bit healthier. All right, so our beer is almost all uh, soaked up by the mushrooms here. I'm going to add in a little bit of chopped fresh rosemary. A little more salt and some freshly ground black pepper. I cook that for maybe 30 seconds just to get all those flavors mixed in together. And then I'm going to remove it from the heat. Put it aside for later. Okay, we're going to start with our phyllo dough. So usually your phyllo dough comes wrapped in plastic and you want to make sure that it doesn't dry out. That's the only tricky part about using phyllo dough. So I like to take my phyllo dough and keep it underneath the plastic that it comes in and then put a damp towel over the top just to make sure that it doesn't dry out. So I'll just, this towel I just damped it with a little bit of water, 
and then I'll just put it over top. You don't want your phyllo to get wet, so I keep the plastic on top, and then I just put the damp tea towel on top of there to keep it from drying out. So I'm just going to take a couple of layers, two layers of my phyllo dough. It's really delicate, so you want to be careful with it. It rips really easily. So move it as little as possible. So I'm just going to spread it out onto my cutting board, cover the rest up with my plastic. And then what I want to do is brush it with some olive oil. I just have a little pastry brush and a dish full of olive oil, and I'm just going to brush the bottom layer with olive oil and then the top layer with olive oil. have our phyllo dough all oiled, two layers, and then I'm just going to cut it right down the middle into long strips. So I'm going to do three long strips on each side, so six long strips in total. You can make your little triangles bigger if you prefer, but I like to have them Nice and small finger food size. So it's pretty much, it's an appetizer. Don't want to be too full before dinner. So then I'm going to open up my creamy Swiss cashew cheese and put it at the bottom of each one of these strips. And then I'm going to take some of our cooked mushroom mixture and add it in there. Not too much because you have to roll these up pretty tight afterwards, so. You don't want to overstuff them. There we go. And then I'm just going to take the bottom right hand corner and fold it up till it reaches the edge and fold it over and fold it over all the way until we get to the end of our phyllo dough and then you have a little triangle of puff pastry. You can continue until you're done with your mushroom mixture or make how many, however many you want. So I'm just going to place them on a little cookie sheet and brush them with a little more olive oil. I'm going to put these aside and we're going to bake all of our appetizers at the same time. So for our next one, our little pastry purses, I'm going to use a mini muffin tin. And again, I'm going to take my, my phyllo pastry, two layers. I'm going to do the same thing. Bring them over onto my cutting board and cover up the rest of the pastry so that it doesn't dry out. And then I'm going to brush each layer, the top of each layer, with some olive oil. Okay, so there we have our pastry dough. We've put olive oil on top of both sheets. And then what I'm going to do is cut them right down the middle again. And then I'm going to cut each half down the middle. And then I'm going to cut it down the middle lengthwise. Okay. So then in our little nonstick muffin tin, I'm going to tuck them in there. So I'm just going to make 12 little purses, one little tin. I'm going to use our double cream brie style for this one. So I'm just going to take one little piece of double cream brie cashew cheese, put it in each one of our little purses. It's about a half a teaspoon in each one. And then I'm going to take this uh, cranberry sorrel jelly. So this is a cranberry sorrel jelly from Bacchanel. And I'm just going to add 
a little dollop to each one of these little purses. Okay, then I'm just going to take each little purse and kind of squish it together and give it a little twist on the top. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on top of each one of these so they'll brown nicely. And that's it. We're going to put that aside until we're ready to bake everything in the oven at the same time. Okay, so for appetizer number three, we're going to take another two sheets of phyllo dough. This is our little asparagus cigars. Spread it out. We're going to cover up our phyllo again so it doesn't dry out and do the same thing, brush each of the top layers with some olive oil. So we've brushed the top of our uh, phyllo doughs with olive oil again and I'm just going to cut these into three long slices. So cut it into thirds. So I can roll up my cigars. I'm going to take a nice piece of blanched asparagus. So these I just dropped into boiling water and then dropped them again into ice water right after that. And then uh, that stops the cooking and keeps them nice and bright green. So I'm going to put some of our cashew cheese. This is the double cream, this is these creamy Swiss. So dollops of that along the bottom edge where the asparagus is and then we're going to place some of our mushroom mixture along that asparagus and then we're going to roll it up like a cigar easy peasy We're going to put them on the same baking sheet with our phyllo triangles here. Brush the tops with a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to put everything in the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. And here we are, fresh out of the oven. So we have our little mushroom Swiss phyllo triangles. We have our asparagus phyllo cigars. And our little Brie and cranberry jelly purses. So, two savory treats and one a little bit sweet. Perfect for your holiday table. Enjoy. So hit subscribe for new videos in your inbox every Thursday. See you next week.